The following is a non-profit fan-based production. Matt Father is owned by Sen. Please support the official release. Also, this video was not created with a child audience in mind and is not considered suitable for children. Father. Father, are you in there? Father! Aya, how many times have I told you not to come down here? Sorry, Father, but, um, I'm too scared to sleep on my own. Aya... Don't worry, you're never alone. Your late mother is always there at your side. She's always looking after you, Aya. Okay? Now, please get to bed. Yes, Father. Good girl. Father, tomorrow's... Yes, the anniversary of her death. We'll visit her grave together. Okay. Now, back to bed, please. I'll be resting too shortly. Okay. Father's secret. My father is a scientist. He loves research and is always locked up in the lab in the basement. And I've always heard things from that lab. Animal and human screams. Even at a young age, I knew what my father was doing. So I pretended I wasn't looking. That I didn't know or hear anything. I feigned ignorance the whole time. Because I loved father. That's not the only secret I know. When mom and I weren't around, he and his helper... I shall dispose of the remaining materials myself. That can wait. Come, Maria. Doctor. Oh, Doctor. She's aware of our relationship. Hmm. What does it matter? I don't believe she's fond of me. That is the problem. The girl will be eleven soon. 
It's a troublesome age, to be sure. Be kind to her, please. Make sure she is never hard. She is my most precious. It's midnight. Today is the day Mom went to heaven. Mom... I can never sleep when I think about Mom. A walk outside would clear my head, but Father will be mad if I go out again. No time for that. I should just sleep instead. I don't think I can fall asleep. Well, so much for that. Maybe there's something in my room I can play with. A doll I got from father. It's so old and worn. I brought you a present, Aya. Yay, it's a doll! Thank you, father. What a pretty doll. It's almost like it's real. But enough of that. Mom. What should I do, Mom? I do love Father, but she scares me. She's always looking at me with those eyes. I hate her. But I know Father likes her. If Father and her got married, I guess she would be my new mom. But I don't want her to be my mom. I don't need a new mom. There's only one mom in the world for me. Mom, why did you have to go? Well, that was therapeutic. Let's see what else we've got here. Huh? Something fell out! What's this? Snowball, wanna play? No? Okay then. The room feels cold all of a sudden. I'm kinda scared. I should get back to bed. Good night. Would you look this way? Give me a moment. Just put this here. Yes, it's finished. A flower crown? Does it look good on me? Yes, I think it suits you well. Yay! Thank you, Father. I'm sorry I can't always play with you. Father, it's all right. I'm glad I could play with you today, Father. Oh my! You two were playing? Mom! Look! Father made me a flower crown. Oh, that's wonderful. It looks great on you, Aya. So, you played with him all day? Yeah! We should do this again, Father. Yes, we should. Next time, your mother should join in. Well, I look forward to it. <coughs> Mom! I'm sorry. Just another fit. <coughs> Don't push yourself if you're not feeling well. Come, get some medicine from Maria. It should help you feel better. No, I can get that myself. Mom, are you hurt? You're okay, right? I'm sorry to worry you. I'm perfectly fine. Now don't look so anxious. Please. Aya, your smile keeps me going best of all. If I can't see you smiling, it only makes me worry. Mom. Okay.
okay? Now let's get back for dinner. I made sirloin steak tonight. Your favorite, Aya. Hooray! I love mom's steaks. Right, father? <laughs> of course. Her steaks are the best in the world. We were so happy back then. There was Maria, too, but... Even so, the three of us were a happy family. But then mom passed away from the illness. And the happiness we had then, well... Ah! Huh? That scream... Father? Something must have happened. I'll go check on Father. I'm surprised I heard it from the basement. I have a bad feeling. What's the sound? I is it a voice? This way. Who's that? Come this way. Is there somebody there? I don't want to go back. Hey, come back here! Yeah, I think not. Who are you? This way. Who? Stay with me. I said, this way! Yeah. Yeah. Who's that? Many interesting books in this room here. Do you like books, my dear? Who are you? Now, don't be so aggressive. I'm merely a salesman. Salesman? Call me Ogre. I hope to get to know you, young lady. Mm. But it's quite troublesome to think that corpses loiter around the house. Corpses? Those monsters back there? They're like monsters from a story. Why would monsters like that? Well, it's a curse. What you saw were the corpses of your father's test subjects. Overcome with anger, those diseases have been brought back by the power of a curse. To take revenge on your father, of course. What? So father is in danger? I have to save him! Why is that? That if his disorder has killed so many people as part of his experiment. This is his retribution. You must have realized by now, your father's true nature. And yet you wish to save him. Mm. My, my. Perhaps she cannot yet understand their sorrow. I have to go save father. A crow? Hello, birdie. Hello! Do you like crackers? Birdie want woody! Can't help you there. And who are- Give! Give her back! Give! My daughter! Holy shit! Well, that was disturbing. But those two downstairs are more disturbing. Now where to go next? Not there, obviously. Hey, who's there? Did you see her, Mr. Box? How silly. You're just a box. God, what am I even doing here? <laughs> Leaving now. I made it. I'm getting the world here. Oh shit. Hello? What was that song? Could you sing it again? So this is Daddy's secret room. Eeyink! Wow. Daddy collects a lot of dolls. Silly Daddy, dolls are for girls. Seriously, Daddy, you're too old to be playing with dolls. Well, nothing doing here. Let's when see what. The world, your Ours, our temples, Hello? Where'd you go? 
Oh, another one! Yoink! Well, that was fun. But where do I go now? Hey, I know! I'll make a break for the front door! And call the police! YOLO! Zombie bit me. Am I gonna be a zombie now? Birdie like to bite things too. Nice squeaky bugs and wormy. Oh, okay. Thanks. I wonder if there's anything for zombie cures. Nothing here. That's nice, but does it cure zombie bites? I thought I heard someone. I'd be crying too if I was in a burning fireplace. Gosh, I wonder where the playground is. Could it be here? Yep, hit the nose right on the head. Excuse me, but do you have any brains that you could spare me? Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to get all the way off my back. Oh, okay. Away I go. Now watch as I take a bath and wash that gunk away. I can probably put my clothes in the laundry basket. Grab a towel. There goes my naked time. Yoink! Why was that doll moving? Is that part of the curse too? What the hell did father do to get the dolls pissed off at him? Guess I'll just push the stool around while I think about it. Hey look, a knife! Maybe I can use that to defend myself. Nah, that's just silly. They're already dead. Here we are at the playground. Let's see what we can find. Oh, here's something. Yoink. That water looks inviting. Maybe I can bathe here instead. Or maybe I can just live with the stink. No big deal. Well, that was fun. Back to plan A. In three... Two, one, freedom! Good time! God damn it! Well, guess it's time to say father. I wonder what's behind this locked door. Oh yeah, never mind. Hey Birdie, do you know where Daddy is? Does Aya know where Wormy is? No. There's your answer! There's something there. What is that? Hey, can you get us a pizza? We're hungry and we weigh a ton so we can't move! I can't get through here. Hey, don't pretend we're not here, okay? Guess that was a bust. Let's go find us some boys in blue. Scene one, take three. Action! Me! Time for freedom! Yoink! And the door was locked. <coughs> Only place I haven't looked yet. Did you find any wormies? Did you find your daddy? No. There's your answer. Is someone eating here? Dude, put some clothes on. Seriously, that's gross. Ugh, no sense of decency. Also, yoink. Someone's having a good time in the kitchen. I should stay away. Excuse me, Mr. Dog, just gonna go around you. Oh boy, cooking oil! And 
find a little something else. Yoink! What else is there? Our perfectly normal secret cellar! Yikes, it's pitch black. I can't go down there. Something might kill me down there. No, it's looking at me. I don't think that dog likes me. Pretty likes muffins! You should try them! Let's see what I can do with my new toys. Starting with... Never mind, let's go with you instead. Hello, Mr. Box. Say hello to Mr. Knife. Hello, Mr. Lighter. And goodbye, Mr. Knife. You know, I feel like I'm missing something. I wonder why. Oh, hey! Zombie Mom is gone. I don't know the code to unlock it. Maybe the code's in one of the books. Or in the medicine? Or with that stranger in the trench coat? Or in the dresser? Or maybe... Nope, guess not. At least I got a key. And keys open locked doors. And I got a locked door, right? Whoops, wrong way. Here we are. Time to casually skim some books. Like this one. Or this one? Ah, I remember this book. There's a girl who has the mysterious power to control fire. And she goes on a journey to find the family she's been separated from. Proclaiming, burn all those in my way. She did exactly that to all her foes. But I think, in the end, her power got out of control and destroyed the world. So she never met her family in the end. She was all alone. A poor little girl all alone. If I lose father, I'll be alone too. I don't want it. I have to save father quick. Humans are beautiful, but that beauty soon fades. That is the law of this world, but I have overturned it. After years of research, I have found eternal beauty. A body that will never fade, even in death. A body as fresh as when they were still alive. They have eternal beauty within their grasp. Hmm, not as interesting. Do you read any interesting books, Birdie? Birdie only reads books that are shorter than one page! Actuary X. This is a nightmare. How could this have happened? I killed a bird. Just like... Wow, I can't believe I'm reading one of my own entries. I must be really bored. So dark outside. Huh. There's something stuck in here. Mama, Mama, it hurts. Help me. Help. Father. Don't worry, I shall take you to her, once this is all over. No! I want to go now! Mama! Mama! Don't fret, everything will be fine. We just wish to test this medicine. It may hurt a bit, but not much. You'll soon feel such relief. No! Mama! Stop! I don't want this! Stop! Meh meh! Meh meh! Meh meh! Meh meh! 
you're barking up the wrong tree. And I'm done reading for tonight. Hmm, I don't know what language this is, but I think I learned a little bit of it once. Let's see if I can remember. Maybe a friend could help me with this. A furry friend. That weird guy is gone. Here, Snowball. Snowball loves father too, don't you? Snowball! Snowball! Where are you? What do I do? And your legs hurt too. I'm worried. Snowball! Where did you get to? I was so worried when you disappeared. I couldn't wrap up that wound with you running around. Wait, huh? Your wounds healed. Oh, what a troublesome rabbit. Father! Aya, try not to let Snowball out of your sight, will you? The rabbit made a mess of the kitchen. Sorry, Snowball must have been trying to get a bite of Maria's cooking again, huh? Did you find Snowball, Father? Yes, and healed that leg room while I was at it. Good thing Father's around, huh, Snowball? Thank you, Father. Snowball's a member of the family, treated as well as any other. Yeah! Let's go say father together. Hey Shadow, wanna come along too? No thanks, I'll just sleep peacefully in one of your drawers. Don't worry, you can count on me. I'll say father from the zombies. As soon as I can figure out how. Haven't checked this area yet. And now I remember why. Now let's see. According to this note here, the first number is the number of barrels in the East Hall downstairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first number is seven. Next is chandeliers. One, two, three, four. The second number is four. Force field activated. No. Did you see that? I used the force field. Now the zombie can't follow me. Can force field give birdies a bird seed? Can't help you with that one. The third number is the number of dolls in the doll room. Why we even have a doll room, I do not know. Just the red ones then. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Thought you could hide from me, eh? Seven and eight. Third number is eight. Just need to go to the reception room. Nope, not here. Sneak past the zombies and... Here we are. One... Two... The ripped portrait still counts. Now to try out that safe code. Hope my memory serves me as I do this. the 
code to unlock it. Maybe that note I found is a hint. Considering the lengths I went to count everything, that sounds like a reasonable deduction. It smells like mom. There's a lamp in here. It might be useful. I guess I'll take it. Just borrowing this, mom. This is... Mom's perfume. Is he still at work? I love you, Maria. Oh, Doctor. Eh? Father? Aya, there you are! Doesn't your father always tell you not to go in the basement? M Mom! He... I knew it. He's cheating on me with her. I, I can't believe this. Some girl he picked up on the street. I won't forgive him. Mom's usually so nice, but she seems so different then. This perfume, I put it back on her dresser after that, but she took care of it. That's good. After all, Mom got this from Father on their anniversary, so I'm sure Mom loved Father to the very end. I'll take it as a charm, alright Mom? Maybe I can use this charm to ward off zombies. Let's try it out. There's something here. It's a nice pendant. I'm gonna put it in my room. I'll just set it right here on this windowsill. This is her pendant. Mama. Colina. Mama. Well, that just happened. Anyways, yoink! I keep getting these gems. Any idea what they do? Can you eat the gems? Nope. I think I'm ready to go say father now. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Got anything delicious to eat? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Something nice and piping hot. Like a pizza. Yeah, pizza. I'll go check the kitchen. I'm not gonna make a pizza. That dog probably ate it already. But there is something there. Open sesame! Yikes! It's pitch black! Oh, the lamp! I think there's a passageway in the storehouse. Which is locked. But I won't leave empty-handed. Couldn't fit in there, but maybe Snowball could. Please, Snowball. And so the little rabbit made his way into the storehouse. It was dark, but he had eaten plenty of carrots. Snowball was too small to open any doors, so he looked around to see if there was anything he could bring back. That's when he found it the lighter way. 
just then he heard the sound of Mr. McGregor coming, and he knew he had to hightail it out of there. Woo! I got some oil. Now I'm cooking with grease. Oh no, the light went out. Why won't it work? Please. Oh, pretty. Was someone behind me? Just imagining it. That dog's still eating? Just how much meat is there? Oh, hey, where did you come from? Well, ow, bad touch, bad touch. What's that say? Dive Vader Mortar? Hey, Birdie, can you read what that message says? Birdie can't! It's covered in blood! Not any pizza! Nope, sorry, no pizza. And you're not getting through! I can't get through here. What should I do? It's like in the flame egg. Burn all those in my way. Yeah, huh? I can burn it. But how? Let's get this show on the road!